are digging each other, don't do that and not call the person because you feel you're, he should be calling you or you as a man, woman, what, however, that that person should be calling you all the time. No, it's a two way street. If you want a relationship to work, y'all both got to do the job. It's not just one person. And that's my problem, y'all, because I don't want to call no man. I feel that if he like me, he going to call me. I shouldn't have to call him, but I have to get out of that. As I get older, I feel that I have to get out of that. And y'all probably say, girl, y'all are talking about as you get older, for real. But as I get older, I have to figure, I have to get out of my way. Get out of your way. Just let it flow. Don't get to thinking, well, he ain't called me, so what is he doing? He ain't called you, fool, because you ain't called him. So get over it. He's not going to keep calling you all day, every day. And he's not, there's no reciprocation. He's not, you're not giving back what he gives you. It's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. You want to make relationship relationship to work, you have to work together. It's not just one person doing it by themselves. So it can't be a one-sided relationship where I call you all the time and you don't say anything to me. Unless I call you. That's when you will talk. But you go a whole day and not talk to this person. And but you thinking in your head, well, he ain't called me or well, she ain't called me. How about you call them? Yeah, I'm talking to my own self, y'all. I'm not just talking to y'all, but I'm talking to some of those people out there who are like me because that is me to a T. I don't feel that I'm going to call you. You should call me. Why do I got to call you? But I have to get out of my own way. Shell, I'm to chill, chill. I'm talking to you, Shell. Come a little closer. Shell, let's have a little talk. Get out of your own way. You can't make it. You can't make it as if it's all on the other person. It's both of y'all. Both of y'all. So y'all, I gotta get out of my own way. Because if I don't, I'll be single for the rest of my life, y'all. And I'm, right now, I'm fine with being single. I'm perfect. It's per singleness is perfectly fine for me right now. I'm perfectly fine with being single. But when I do want to decide to be unsingle, it might be too late, huh? No, I'm just fine. When I do decide to be unsingle, I got to get out of my own way. Because I've done it. I've done it with a person that I dated. I figured, well, I'm, I figured I called you. I mean, you called me and like, you know, when you meet somebody, if you meet a guy, you meet a girl, they call you all the time. And that's because you guys are getting to know each other. So they call them all the time. And that's what I'm used to. You call me all the time. And I like persistent men, men who are persistent. Um, it's not all about the looks for me. But I don't want you to be a book wolf. I don't, I don't want you to be a book wolf. But not all about the looks. But I don't want you to look like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. I don't want you to look like that. But <laughs> it, so if you were persistent in the beginning, I want you to be persistent throughout. Not you think you got me. So now I can step back. I can fall back. No, you cannot. You have to continue pursue me. That's what's wrong in a lot of relationships. It's because men or women, both, they pursue this person in the beginning. And once they have them, they feel like they don't have to pursue them. No, you got to still pursue. Make this relationship like it's the beginning of the relationship. Continue that. That's how you keep the spark alive. I am not a relationship uh, guru or relationship counselor. Because obviously I'm not because I'm divorced. But keep the spice up. Keep the, the, the persistency going on. Keep the... You know, the calls, keep the dates and things of that nature. Don't think because once you like I know a lot of people and I don't I don't know a lot of people. I mean, I know like a lot of people in marriages, you get married and in the beginning it's wonderful, like a regular re relationship. You know, somebody in the beginning is wonderful. But as the relationship dwindles and I was talking to somebody on the phone about this, that they were saying that um, all men cheat is what they told me that all men cheat because they get tired of the same woman over and over and I said well no if you do different things you don't have to cheat because if y'all doing different things and you guys are enjoying one another 
cheating wouldn't be an option. But once you get into a routine and you're doing the same thing, same thing, same thing. Y'all, I don't know where this came from. I'm preaching right now. Hallelujah. Can y'all send me some offerings and tithes? What? Y'all, let me stop. But, you know, you pursuing, you pursued that woman or you pursued that man in the beginning. Keep that up. That's how you keep it alive. You have to do things with each other. Don't think because we married, I don't have to take you to such and such. Because we married for the ladies who like flowers and your man is bring, you know, bring her some flowers. That's what she like. So keep up the spark of life, but you can't stop bringing the flowers because now you my wife. No, keep it spicy. That's why marriages last for so long. When you do what you need to do as a spouse, you don't have to go out there and look for something else somewhere. A lot of people who cheat on their spouses, they went out. It's some of them who cheat just because they want cake, ice cream, and cherries on top of whipped cream and sprinkles. They just want more. That's a lot of people. They don't cheat because their wife not treating right or their husband is not treating right. They just can't be with one person and they want more than what they need. But there are some people who cheat because they were not getting what they need or needed at home. Give that man or that woman what they need. You don't have to worry about them going outside and cheat at all. I was watching one of those TikTok videos. I'm about to go, you guys, because my video is getting long. I was watching one of those TikTok videos in, in this video on there, and the lady says, you want a Chinese lady? And so she started talking in Chinese. You don't have to step out there. I can be all of those. I probably ain't got the accent, but I got the wigs. I can change it up whenever you need me to. You just have to keep it spicy. You have to. And I wish I would have known this while I was married to, you know, and I'm not even sure if we would ever work, even if I did know all of this. It's just, I got young. I got married young. When you marry young, you really have not lived your life. And I know that there are people out there who's been married since they was 21 and they still been married, still married and they 65. That's fine and dandy, but that's not the case for everybody. I know nine times out of 10, I won't even say nine times out of 10, may I'll probably say 60% of marriages end when you get married young and you start having all these disagreements because you ain't lived yet. So it's like, well, I don't get to do this or I don't get to do that or I don't get to do this. So now you you chasing after that as you get older, like, well, I didn't get to do this. Now I want to do it. But I got my husband. I got my wife over there. And if that husband and wife don't want to do it, that's why you get them involved. Make your husband and your wife your best friend so we can do everything together. We don't have to stay up under each other all day or hold on to each other all day but keep the spice there you guys i cannot uh iterate this enough reiterate it enough you have to keep and i'm not saying spice as in y'all gotta have sex all the time and that's a big part of it you gotta do it but you know keep the spice take them out on a date and it's not y'all and i'm not the type of woman i it's not me the type of woman to where i feel like when i go out on a date with a man he have to pay for everything i have my own money not saying that I'm going to say I'm paying for mine and you're going to pay for yours. No. If I have it, I don't mind paying for dinner. I don't mind paying for us to go wherever we go. I don't mind that. It's nothing, it's nothing wrong with that. But people put in the mind of society that because you are a man, you have to buy everything. When you take this woman out, you have to buy everything. So what if I say, babe, let's go to such and such. That means I invited him. What's wrong with me paying? Nothing at all. So get it out of your head, women out there, especially young women, that every time I go on a date with a man, he got to pay for this. He got to pay for that. That's not always the truth. You do not have to make that man pay for everything every time y'all go anywhere. Now, if you get a man every time y'all go somewhere, he sitting there and the check and came and he slid over to you. And this is every time. Run. Hurry up and run. But, yeah, y'all, just... I don't know where this came from. I talked about a surgery. I didn't talked about a relationship. I didn't talked about how I think I need some therapy. But I do, y'all. We all need therapy. Everybody needs someone that they can talk to, that they can fight it, confide in. And I have a friend that I can confide in. And she's a lot younger than me. Javana. Javana, who is 28 years old. I can talk to her about anything. And she will sit and she will listen. She have an opinion. She'll give an opinion. You guys, she's young, but she's very wise. She's young, but she is a very wise individual. I can tell her anything, anything, and ain't nobody else going to know about it. So I can go lay on her couch and talk to her. But she was at my house last night, and we just talked about some things, and I was telling her that I think that I need to go to counseling just to talk to somebody who is not biased and who is not 
and I can't say not biased because I'm not going with a spouse or anything like that. I'm going on my own, but I have to get out of my head because I can go and she can say or he can say something that I don't want to hear. Now I got an attitude because that's me, y'all. I'm telling on myself. I have, I can get an attitude because you said something that I don't want to hear. I also told somebody on the phone another day, y'all, this might be a two part video, but I told somebody on the phone one day that, um, I think I'm the type of person who, if it, if I don't get my way, I don't want to say I get angry, but it kind of makes me upset because you told me, no, I don't like rejection. Don't tell me no, but I have to learn to accept no, because I'm not going to always get a yes from everywhere in every place. So I kind of, y'all, I done went all types of left field, right field, in the field, across the town with this, y'all. I'm about to go. So if y'all want to hear the rest of my story, it's not a story, but if you guys want to hear more about what I think of certain things, or y'all drop it down in the comment and I'll do a whole video on that. I'll do a video on whatever it is that y'all, I can't give you no advice. I mean, I can give you advice whether you, you can take it or you don't have to take it. But I can give advice. Um, I'm y'all. This is gonna have. To, I'm probably gonna have to make this video later down the line. I mean, <coughs> I'm probably gonna have to finish it. <coughs> A rice went down the wrong pipe. I could talk to you guys right now. But I think I'm going to split the video and then give you guys, because I don't want a super, do long, super long video. I tell you guys, I don't want to watch a long video. So I'm going to come in here and give y'all a long video when y'all not into that. And this may be good for me because I can split it in two. Like I said, my son is at home and he really needs my help. Uh, so I can't be sitting here recording videos every single day. I can't do it. Um, and he's supposed to go back to school on the 16th. He has a doctor's appointment on the 16th, but he's also supposed to be released to go back to school on the 16th as well. So, and today is the 11th. So, that's in five more days, y'all. I don't know how if he's going to feel better in five more days. We have to see. Um, But, uh, yeah, you have to. I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, that is time for me to go. You guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post the video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. I forgot what I was saying, y'all. But if y'all want to hear stuff like this or y'all want to, um, I don't want to say hear my, well, yeah, hear my opinion on certain things and you can like it or you don't like it. You can say something. You don't have to say anything. But what do you guys think about um, counseling? Because like I said, a lot of us black folks don't think we need it. A lot of us. And I was telling my sissy that that a lot of my culture, my culture, I'm just talking about my culture, y'all. I'm not bashing no other culture. I'm not bashing any other race, any other race. But we as black folk, and I'm black, I'm black as night. Maybe not as night, but I'm black, y'all. My birth certificate say I'm black. We don't feel that we need therapy. We don't feel we should go and talk to somebody because we can fix it ourselves is what we think. But it's not always the truth. Y'all, so that with that being said, I'm about to go. I love y'all. Mm. Mm. Y'all, don't forget to wash your hands and wear your mask. Bye, y'all.